tutorial, we're going to quickly learn how to pull data down from a JSON file and be able to get an array of information from that JSON file and then be able to get out one dictionary and be able to use that information. So the first thing we need to do is create a variable for our data. And then we're, this is going to be of type NSData. And NSData has a few functions that we can use to be able to get information. So we want to use this contents of URL. Now when we're using the contents of URL, we have to pass in an NS URL. So we need to create that NS URL. And then it's going to have some information too. So we're going to do an NS URL. <clears throat> we're going to pass in a string that's going to be our text. So I'm going to just copy and paste in the string from where we're getting the information. So I've created a JSON file at this certain location. Now what we're saying with that exclamation point that I just put in is that in order for this contents of URL to work, this NSURL object has to exist. It can't be optional, it has to be there in order for it to work. So the next thing we need to do is create a variable to store our array. So we're just going to call it JSON and it's going to be of type array and we're going to tell it that it can be any object um, and that it has to exist as well. Then we need to do a do loop. So we're going to do a do and then we're going to do a catch. So this is our try catch block. So if we catch an error, then we want to print error. And you say, well, we don't have an error at this point. Well, when we do this, this uh, thing within our try catch, we're going to have a potential for an error. So we're going to do JSON equals try NSJSON serialization dot JSON with JSON object with data and we're going to pass in our data and then we're going to set our reading options. We're going to do NSJSON NSJSON reading options And we're going to add one more parenthesis there. We're going to say that needs to return optionally as an array. So we've got a little error here. We have to assert or say that the data that we're passing in, which is this data, it has to exist as well in order for, order for it to work. So what we can do now is we're going to just put an NS log and I'm just going to put a blank NS log just so I can put a breakpoint so that we can see what is in our JSON array at this point. So we build, we run, and we hit this breakpoint, and now we can see this JSON array has seven values or seven objects. We can do a print and see all of those objects in the values. Well, now we want to be able to get just one value, one dictionary out. So we're going to do a var d equals json. And we're just going to get the object at index 0. We're going to say it's as optionally a string and any object dictionary. So once we've got that, now we want to actually just print it out. So we're going to do a... a D, and then we're going to say we want to do, we want to show the year built. But we're going to say that that's as optionally a string. But then we have to assert a few things. So we're going to put a couple parentheses around, and we have to say D has to exist. In order for this to work, we have to have a D. And then in order to print this out, 
this has to exist. So that should take care of all of our errors. Now if we build and run, we're going to see that now we build, we run, and then we were able to print out from that dictionary exactly what we wanted to see. Just to put a breakpoint in really quick, just so that we can see exactly what's coming back and happening. So we can see D has all of these different objects, any objects, and now we can see what they are. So we can see that there's all of this informational, information that's optional and how it's printed out down here. But we can see year built, longitude, latitude, location, image, image thumbnail, whatever we want to do, we can be able to do with it from that point.